This video is brought to you by Reset Games. At ResetGames.com, you can buy, sell, or trade new and used games from all eras of gaming. You can see trade-in values instantly, trade-in for credit or cash, and all of the bags for shipping your games will be provided at no charge. From PlayStation 3 all the way back to the old school Nintendo, Reset Games will have the titles that you are looking for and so much more. So check them out on their website at www.ResetGames.com and tell them that BCS Buster sent you. Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and we've got a problem on Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. We uh, are going through an ID check, and I don't have an ID on me, so this could be a problem. The light means we're in the ID security check area. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Gotcha, that makes sense. Wait, what? Oh. And we bypass that with no problems at all. <laughs> Uh, yeah, looking forward to it. You'll make it with a bang, eh? Uh, well, okay, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me just uh, review here. She's making something with a bang. She really wants to do it, and now we've lit in her fuse. That's just great. Uh, I'm just gonna leave that one alone at BCS Universe. Okay, Bear wants to talk to us now. Oh, we can see the sky, that's cool. Oh, Floating City. Man, this is... There are so many references to Final Fantasy VI in this game. We've got floating continents, floating cities, and uh, Wedge and Biggs. Someone made a comment about that earlier. Wedge and Biggs are characters from Final Fantasy VI. You just full of surprises. Uh, ooh, whoa. <laughs> More explicitives. Uh, okay. What, pizza? What are you talking about? The city below is full of polluted air. Man, what the hell? On top of that. <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. Oh, I see. Oh, well, loyal to their homeland. That's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a good point there, BCS Universe. Man, Cloud's like he's starting to get pretty deep for a guy that, you know, just wants to get his money and be done with it. Wow. Look at that design. Whoa. And we're finally off. Again. This reminds me of the ghost train from Final Fantasy VI. Now, I think I'm going to make a lot of Final Fantasy VI references in this LP. And there goes Barrett. And, okay, why are they doing that jumping thing? And clearly, you know... Okay, Barrett apparently wants to speak to us. Wait, the hard part's still to come, but we just succeeded in the mission. Hmm. Oh, whoa. The next one's going to be bigger than that, eh? Move out! Oh. Man, it's almost like you're being at the, uh, at the, uh, working at the airport there. Okay. Now, if you go to the right, uh, you can go, uh, engage in battle, but we don't want to do that just yet. Whoa. Oh, hey, uh, <laughs> that train graveyard. Oh, this really sounds like Final Fantasy VI. Yeah, if you go to the right, that is the train graveyard, but we don't want to do that. We want to go to the left. And now we're here at this town. All right, and all we want to do for right now is just head over this way. There's nothing else that's interesting. Hmm. Whoa. Why did Barrett go in there and just, did he just start shooting everybody? What the hell, man? This is nuts. No, oh, what happened? Oh, the Mako reactor. No, what's up? Oh, I see we're trying to... <laughs> a billion gil worth of damage. Oh, wow. I think this is the first game where the term gil started coming into play. 
Oh, see, that's kind of sad. Okay. Well, for right now, let's just go talk to Barrett here. Uh, yeah, we'll get to the other houses in a little bit. Okay, hey, hey, come on down there, Chief. Oh, change of pace of the music. Papa? Whoa. Wait, do we know this girl? Yeah, everything went good. We blew the crap out of everything. Uh, yeah, we did. <laughs> oh, so we've known him for a long time. And her name is Tifa. She's one of the main characters of the game, so we'll just go with that. Yep. Uh... Who should we give it to? Let's see. Now, this will probably affect uh, the dialogue later, but, uh, you know, we're going to be nice. We're going to give it to the kid. That's kind of what I would do in real life. Kind of just knocks a little, uh... Oh. Uh, yeah, what's up? Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Okay. Yeah, uh, sure. Uh, hey, who's in charge here? Well, she is going to set me up with a bang there, so anyways. <sighs> okay, well, uh, let's go ahead and get out of here. Huh? What? Oh, never mind. Oh, wait. Barrett's actually a dad? Who the hell would actually... Wait, so... Who's the bomb, then? Is it Tifa? Are Barrett and Tifa made it married? Maybe so. Oh, there we go. Yeah, teaching their children matters. I like that. We'll take care of us. Very good. Great! Yeah, everything's well and good. Oh, we're starting the meeting already. Ugh. By the way, a lot of these actions have to do... Well, I'll just go ahead and tell you while I have some downtime. Have a lot to do with um, a date scene that happens uh, later on in the game. And if you really want to know how to do it, um, you know, I'll... Uh, there's a bunch of um, game facts online about how to do that. How to get the date scene that you want. I'm just going to do what I personally would do in real life. So b says Universe, you can kind of show my uh, see my personality a little bit and see how I would interact with people and um, members of the opposite sex and stuff like that, so... Uh, yeah, give me some heart. Oh, Tifa's gonna make us a drink, eh? Yeah, no problem. Well, I mean, all we have to do is go in and blow some crap up. Okay, so I guess we have two uh, groups. Soldier and um, Avalanche. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're feeling fine. Well, it's probably because you gave me something really hard. Yeah. But yeah, so you can go on a date a little bit later on in the game with uh, one of four characters. So like I said, I'm just going to do what I naturally uh, would do. And um, we'll just go from there. All right, this must be the secret area. What's that sound? Oh, Barrett's using the punching bag, eh? Oh. <laughs> Can you can we see the news there? Yeah, we did. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh wait. Oh, I see. So is Avalanche the good guys and Soldier the bad guys? Are you uptight? No, no, you're fine. No. <laughs> good to know. But he's actually a coward there, so that's good. To... Uh, no. Okay, enough for that. Yeah, what's up? I don't know. Yeah, we are pretty sure there. Well, I was a soldier. <laughs> now don't go thinking you so bad just because you was in soldier. Is that like a country accent or... I don't know, BCS Universe. You tell me what you think uh, Barrett's got going on. Whoa! <laughs> okay! 
and all right, he just got launched. Wait, so I guess Shinra's the bad guys. And... Oh man, Cloud's getting up all in his face. Okay, uh, all right. I guess we're trying to get out of here. Oh, what? oh, come on, that's not true. Man, what's the deal with Cloud? Man, so, like, Cloud, what's your deal, dude? Let's go ahead and get out of here. Man, this has got some messed up. Cloud's kind of a messed up dude. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get out of here. Oh. Yeah, uh, man, Cloud looks like he's very conflicted, but... And I guess... Man. Oh. Oh, so you guys have been friends for a long time. How can you say that? Yeah, I mean, come on now. Promise? By the way, none of this, uh, none of that dialogue has any effect on um, the, the outcome of what she says here. And apparently they wore the same clothes as they did seven years ago. I guess they don't change their outfits back in, in uh, video game lore. Oh, wait. Never mind, they do change their outfits. <laughs> oh, Tifa's even wearing a dress. Hey, hey. Oh, it's kind of nice. Cloud's just... I wonder if Cloud's like the... Uh-oh, that nervous boy. Wait, well, where are we now? Whoa, Cloud's got a ponytail now. Oh, he wants to join Soldier. Like Sephiroth? Who's that? Sounds like he's kind of a tough guy. And now Clouds was he's climbing the pole, I guess. It's okay, don't cry. Yeah, this is just a touching scene here. Oh, he's gonna try and be in the newspaper. A promise. <laughs> ah. Tifa wants to be the uh Damsel in distress, if you will. Man, Cloud's really oblivious to uh, to what the girls are saying, you know? He's kind of like uh, Colonel Blair there, you know? He doesn't really... Not so good with the ladies there. Well, yeah. Oh, wait, no, Cloud... It's true. I mean, Cloud is a hero. He did blow up a reactor. Wait. <laughs> I guess Baird's not going to take the uh, conventional method there. Haha! -ha! And now we get $1,500. Or Gil. Or... All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Change in music. Did Cloud sleep in the corner? 
All right, and Cloud, uh, we're now awake, so yeah, we have a little bit of time left. Let's go ahead and uh, explore here. Okay. Morning, how you doing? Um, let's see. Uh, let's go with... Um, um, Barrett snoring clipped me up, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Tifa's going with us this time. That's cool. Let's see if we can talk to Marlene. Oh, no, I guess not. Ah, the Sector 5 reactor. Cool. Yeah, sure, what's up? Oh, you don't know yeah, how to use Materia. I don't know if I'm saying that correct, but I've always called it Materia, so. Uh, let's see. You know what? I know how to use Materia BCS Universe, so I'll just show you how to how to do it. <laughs> Alright, I'll be in charge of the Materia. Alright, very good. And we got a message from the weapon shop map. And he has something that he wants to give us. Alright. And now we have three members on our team, and we need to go see the weapon shop guy. But what could he possibly have in store for us? And how exactly do we use Materia? You're gonna have to wait till next time to find out. Till then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter at BCS Buster LP, check out the donations page, and as always, take care, y'all. <laughs>